Yes, it's that time of the year again. Halloween is upon us, and with it the special event. And the Sanctum has transformed into this eerie place. Hello, Bounded Citizens. It's Boundmore, and you're watching the fortnightly episode number 14. Even though Halloween event has already begun, I will start with something else. In the end, I am to cover last week's and most of it landed before the spooky time. Sometimes quite random things catch my attention, like this post by Sneaky. I guess what intrigued me here was the ambitious project requiring shop stands in thousands, the exact number here. It was needed to all gleam kind of shop. I did warn him about the lag and mesh limit. And he actually made contact on Discord after that to admit he indeed hit the wall. Namely the lag problem and of course the mesh limit. We had a conversation around that and I got really curious how this entire project of his looks like. So I got me some directions and soon I was on my way there. That is to the planet of Trong. <laughs> I found the portal in the Dragon Hub and off I went. As you can see, a lot of shop stands indeed, as he went for separate stands for each of the 255 bundles colors. Multiply that by the number of gleam based items that you can craft and you get an idea about the scale of the shop. And because Sneaky wanted to build up, that meant over 15 floors, with 255 shop stands each. And that's why it was impossible and impractical. So, now it's going to be multiple separate builds for different gleam based products. And the building I visited won't grow above the existing four levels. It might even shrink down by a floor, I think. There is uh, also a town or city outside. Some builds scattered around. Apparently it's been there for years now, going through usual ups and downs, more active and then quieter periods in its time there. Pretty much every boundless settlement experience. But this one didn't fold completely and now Sneaky is on his mission to create this Gleam Bonanza shopping experience. Might be worth keeping an eye on that one. Good luck mate. Back to random forum amusements. This ancient topic never ceases to amaze me and it got my eye again with the Halloween approaching. Not because of any recent post in particular, it just seems to be more relevant at this time of year. <laughs> just a silly thought. I don't know why this made it to this episode. <coughs> Last two weeks were kinda quiet for me in game. And whatever time I spent in Boundless, I mostly used to work around my candle holes. The hall itself remained unchanged, so still no ceiling, but my focus was on the corridors I dug inside the mountain to lead outside in different directions. I was doing the east side before, which is the cliff side of the mountain, and I still had uh, one entrance and connection not finished there. Other than that, I turned my attention to the south side, which is kind of transitioning from the cliff to gentler grassy slopes. There are some trees there that made me want to create cozy secret entrances. And inside some twists and turns, interconnecting tunnels creating a small maze for visitors' delectation. <laughs> Basically, I was stuck inside the mountain most of the time. Once a caveman, always a caveman. Oh. 
Looking from the candle hall floor, we have a balcony above the steps and on both sides there are doors leading to corridors. I continued with the main theme, which is based on brown-red palette of stone, refined and deco rock. Also the vases, stone trunks along, things you have seen before. There are some secondary corridors, a bit narrower and lower, and in darker color. Less decorative and lighting is provided by torches rather than gleam. I always try to pick an interesting spot for the exits, be it a natural cave or a tree, something that asks to be built around and incorporated into the project. Still plenty reforming to do around, I only managed to clear dirt and chisel around the cave exits. But the big trees must wait till the next time I'm around. However, with the Halloween event I might be a bit too busy gathering and crafting and visiting. So it might need to wait until after the Halloween time. Usually I talk about my own playing time in the end, but this time I left Halloween bits for the last part of the episode. Despite the event starting just before making this video, there already are a few things to show. Some players prepared ahead to be ready for the spooky time. Woodbusters announced a building competition. There are attractive prizes to be won. You can see some rules here. And it says here it's been on since the 15th just didn't make to the forums earlier. Anyways, that means some activity can be observed here already. You can get there from the Wordbusters main hub. That's a massive skeleton fella. Anyway, look for southwestern corner where you'll find a portal called Halloween. There is a direct connection as well from Dragon Hub using this portal. And you can see both of them portals on the other side. You are met by all important information, rules of the competition. Also, full list of prizes you can win here. Some contestants already made progress with their admissions since the site was available a few days before the Halloween event kicked in. I can see familiar names around, and a few of them have already been busy enough building. A few more reserved plots waiting to be filled with ideas. My favorite to win must be this one. Mud field and a hopper trap waiting to explode on you. <laughs> Nine contestants at the time of recording and still a few more spots to take, so still time and space available should you be interested. Looks like there are 14 plots prepared altogether. Great job from Woodbusters, I can't wait to see all the builds and the final results. Something to look forward to for the next week. <laughs> Now to another in-game creation, a maze, that is on Nightmare Realm. Beetlejuice is the theme here, so let's take a look at it. Hopefully I won't get lost. <laughs> you get there from the Valhalla hub, there is another sovereign here called Nightmare Tears. But we need to get here. You are greeted by a lot of information. That's a lot of signs and plenty to read. <laughs> and plenty Halloween decor around too, of course. This small hub have portals to more well-established settlements that you might know, so Valhalla isn't the only connection available. And here is what we are looking for. You won't miss the entrance when on the other side. Whoa! My senses already get confused. 
I don't want to spoil the fun of exploring here, so I won't show you the entire place. Just a sneak peek of it. It will taste better for you if you don't see it all ahead of your own visit, I think. It's definitely a cool spot to check and explore. Especially for those who know Beetlejuice movie and can connect with the work done here and understand the references that can be found around. I myself am fully ignorant of them, as I've never watched Beetlejuice. But there are people out there that can appreciate for sure. Okay, so that's it for this episode. As always, thank you very much for coming back to watch it. Please subscribe, like and share if you can to help fortnightly get to more people. Also, share if I manage to spook you. <laughs> and how many times? Remember to stay boundless. Humble.